So boom guys, in today's video we have some more PSA cards. So this submission here is my world uh, promo submission. So obviously you guys know I bought a lot of world's promo at the world's events in London. I was just there in the trade pit trying to buy what I can. Uh, and yeah, I did manage to get a few. I was selling a lot of the international languages on my eBay store. Uh, but then they started slowly not selling anymore. So I thought, let me grade them because they're selling better as graded. Uh, so in today's video, you're going to see what grades those cards got. I did send English and Japanese for myself. The Japanese one right now, I think it's going over two grand uh, in a PSA 10. We do have one with Ace. So if you check our Ace video, we are sending English and Japanese in that one. As well as some cards for Randolph as well in that video that he opened at the event uh, for me to submit. Uh, and yeah, that was a pretty cool video, but I think this is number two, this is number one, so we'll do it in order of what they labeled it as. Uh, and I did send some extra bits, I always send a little bit of extra bits in here, so let's see what we got. So with my submissions, I always send extra bits and bobs. Uh, so let's see what we got here today, so boom. Alright, let's go, let's go. So this is... Ooh, Pokemon Go Radiant Charizard from Pokemon Go. So yeah, I thought, let me send one of these, let's get one PSA encapsulated for the collection and a seven bro not a good start not a good start oh honestly i can't see why it's a seven like look at the back guys obviously these just came out the post but that back looks flawless like the corners are beautiful the centering isn't too bad like, honestly it must be an indent somewhere like on the front maybe the card's too big it's not moving around. It must have got hit when they clamped it. I don't know. But you see that it's not moving at all. It's pretty big. I, I don't know. I don't know why I got a seven. Obviously, look up the certification numbers. Have a look at the scans. If you don't know, PSA put scans of every single card they do now. Uh, I think they've done it for a while now, but yeah. Guys, check up the scans and let me know why this one got a seven. Please, please, please. But wow, a seven on that one. All right, let's see what you got here. Okay, Celebrations Charizard. So you guys know I've got quite a few of these. I think I've got about like 9, 10 total. That's the amount I pulled from all my Celebration openings. And uh, yeah, that's uh, I pulled quite a bit. And I've, this is my first one I sent to PSA. So I'll take a Gem Mint 10. I'll take a Gem Mint 10. So boom. we'll do a PSA 10 personal. And then we'll do um, 9 and lowers here personal. And then these, this side will be stock. That's how we kind of do it in my returns. Okay, so these will be stock here. These are special delivery charges. I'll go through these. Mint 9. So I can't get a 10 on these. I'll see. Mint 9. So I'll set a bunch of these again. Mint. Oh, I was thinking Mint 9, but near Mint 8 now. Damn. So another one of those. So yeah, I should have sold these more raw near the release. But I thought, let me get it graded eventually. I want to kind of keep them all in my collection. But yeah, hobby's expensive, man. Hobby's expensive. Grading is expensive. So. I'm trying to let go of all the spares and etc. And I'll try and keep a few tens in the collection and a couple raw maybe. Yeah, I've got quite a bit of these. Uh, but yeah, let's go, let's go. Mint 9. You pick these up for really good value now. I feel like 30, 20 raw. Uh, and then graded. Oh, a 7. Yeah, graded like a 7. You'll be able to get this for great cost of card. Not even grading cost. I'm going to make a loss there. Uh, but yeah, I think 9s are not even that too much. Like raw plus grading as well. So... You can get good deals on these and we actually sell uh graded cards on famouscrow.com so hit the link in the description guys uh you can buy them a little bit cheaper than our ebay store so whatever graded cards are on our ebay store is also on our website for cheaper so uh but you can bear that in mind but yeah let's go mid nine as well so boom all right let's see what we got here got all oh, the iron man the iron man let's go so boom iron man gold stamp so this is the trial deck version not the one from the set and yeah i bought this one raw so obviously the other one is very expensive so this is the cheaper alternative but they do have the new marvel set premium set and we did pull the 500 pound marvel on our whatnot stream so if you want to take part in our whatnot stream we actually stream uh every week uh and yeah you can use the link in my description the invite link that gives you 10 pounds off so you can get free pack of this the premium set or you can get the uh or the regular set we still have the original marvel set as well but this is the trial deck version i don't think they specify it here but it is the trial deck version so this is the gold stamp i did buy in japan i think 50 pound at a time my friend said it's quite a bit now but gem mint 10 so this is for the pc personal collection for sure so because I, I don't i literally have th these two are my only y schwarz cards in my collection i did pull one yesterday uh but yeah literally these are the only ones worth grading so i thought i'd throw it in here because it was kind of a small submission 
but yeah this one is uh hold on let me not so this one says trial deck but it wasn't in a trial deck uh with t19 sp so this is an sp i pulled this on stream so basically i was chilling on stream and so this is another stamped sp card so i was chilling on stream and i was like oh no one there's no order when there's kind of no orders i kind of open a pack and show people what you can what packs we have available so i open one of the star wars packs but like guys get this and boom we pulled this which is i think at the time like a 70 to 100 pound card i reckon so yeah, i thought let me get it graded why not instead of just selling it raw oh we got a gem mint 10 on it so t19 so yeah the numbers match up s49 t19 but trial deck i'm not too sure because it did came in a booster box but i checked with other graded ones on e uh, ebay there were other people graded it and they had the same specifications so i just went with that as well but yeah very nice card obviously with the stamp there so this is from the star wars 2022 set so two gem mint tens there so this will be selling pile so i'll put that over in the selling pile but boom all right we're going into the world promo this is english so this is english here so english and japanese are for my pc or personal collection i've been saying pc a lot but yeah personal collection so boom and eight so you can see why like you got whitenings here i thought they might be a little bit lenient with these and i got like a fat print line there as well i don't know if you can see it but yeah i'll probably just run through these ones here so we don't make it a super long grading return so this one's english as well oh nine i'll take a nine but yeah i did sell it send the staff one. Oh, that one that one's got an ugly dot there. But yeah, mint nine there. Nice. All right, let's see what we got. Ooh, all right. Let's see what we have here. Another eight. Ah, oh. Your eight there. You got whitening there and stuff like that. But yeah, definitely check out my world's video where we picked up a load of promos and stuff. Oh, come on. Let's see what we got here. Is this English again? Mint nine English. Damn, let's go. Yeah, the English corners weren't the greatest as well. So, like, it's going to be hard to get kind of a 10. Like, the anything but Japanese. But we got Japanese here. So, this card right here is going for, like, two, one, two thousand pounds. But you guys know me. When it's for the personal collection, it goes into the personal collection. Not for sale. Even though I do have two of these. I did have more. One had a dent. And then the both two were damaged. Like, in the packs, they were damaged. So, I just sold them raw. Uh, but got a fair bit for it, so I thought, why not just sell it raw? But yeah, they would have got really low grades. Um, and then yeah, this one, let's see. Uh, let's just show the let's show the grade, guys. Let's see what we got. Nine, so unfortunately not a ten. I thought at least this one could get a ten. Sorry, it's getting all misty and then you can't see. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. Like, can you see anything? I honestly can't see one piece of whining. I think this should deserve. A 10. I think this is one of those ones where I would resubmit in the future. And I think you'd get a 10 again. Um, so you'll definitely do that in the future. Maybe when I come to sell it at the moment, it's for personal. Uh, a lot of times when it's in for personal, like I've not sold anything from the personal collection in a long, long time. Uh, just kind of no rush really. So if I ever decide to sell it, because I do have two. I have one with Ace, I have one with PSA now. Uh, the Ace is a 10 with Ace. So a Ace 10 is a lot stronger. 10 and a PSA because it's a lot harder to get a ace 10 so that could easily cross over to PSA 10 so I may cross that over and then try and crack uh, crack this and cross it as well uh, to a 10 but yeah not bad it'll take a 9 I don't know what 9 values are at but yeah 9 there all right so we've got Spanish so the thing is if they mislabel this then I don't have a clue so any of my Spanish followers let me know if this is really Spanish and with the other languages now as well so the rest will be other languages so let's see what we got we got a mid nine which isn't too bad on Spanish yeah I mean, nine piles too long so I'll put it in the 10 pile don't look like we get many tens all right Spanish again so these are kind of languages that were sitting I did buy some I did buy a lot of languages again like Thai Korean a lot all load of languages so I will be sending more of these off but we've got a mid nine mint nine there i got a good deal on some recently so i thought let me clear the clear those up but boom so yeah i mean these are not in this submission so i will have more worlds cards in the future but spanish oh wow oh do i keep a gem mint 10 yeah like this has got so guys anyone worrying about print lines you see that print line there and it still gets a 10 so i don't think that knocks it at all but condition wise like i swear down the japanese looks way better i think they're doing pop control i don't know why one but look at it. It, it i can't see a single floor to give me a nine maybe not even centering like centering isn't that bad so you can drop it that much but yo german 10 spanish will take it 
All right, we get into Korean. Okay, Korean now, mint nine. Oh, Korean again, mint nine. We'll take a nine. So these were just sitting there, like it just didn't sell really. I didn't really kind of drop the price. If I dropped the prices, I would have sold them. But I thought these are such sick cards and they you can find them fairly cheap raw, guys. So if you want to find them, find them while you can. I don't know if they're going up because the Chinese ones have been going up now. But mint nine there. But yeah, you can buy my graded ones. I do have about eight nines there. So they should be very good value, if not near the raw. But let's go. So that's Korean done. We're into Italian. So, but again, if you're Korean, uh, I don't know what Korean looks like. But if you're Italian, let me know. Because with all the european language is hard to distinguish like I, I can't speak any of them but or read any of them so let me know if this is really italian let's go so just to make sure they haven't mislabeled because every time i see world premise on ebay they always mislabel them but mint nine again come on italian oh, mint nine again but at least not was it only one eight well apart from my english ones but out of stock but oh we get into portuguese now so the mint nine there all right, we're almost done, guys. Oh, another gem mint 10. So two gem mint 10s in these. So yeah, like I said, guys, the corners ain't even that great, but I'm just comparing it to my Japanese. Like the Japanese is flawless and still got eight, nine. I don't know how, but yeah, gem mint 10 there, Portuguese and Portuguese coming through. What? And they all have print lines. So yeah, print line that I've noticed doesn't affect PSA because I got some flat cards as well that had print lines. Uh, but yeah, no idea what happened to a Radiant Charizard there. So going through my next submission box, we have, as you can see, I put the languages there so I know which ones when I'm submitting it. But yeah, let's go, let's go. So we got those I bought on eBay, like pretty decent price. I bought them a few months back now. So yeah, we haven't got a Thai one there because I sold all those on release. So some languages I haven't submitted because they all sold out, like German as well. So those will be in the next submission. All these World's Premier will be available on FamousCrow.com as well as on my eBay store. But remember, my website will be a little bit cheaper than our eBay. So yeah, check it out, guys. I think, yeah, even though this is seven, look at it. I think, I think the Pogo Charizard's underrated, is like too undervalued for what it is. Even though it's a seven, I know one day I could probably crack this and it'll probably grade higher again, but I don't know where is the seven. So yeah, definitely look up the sir on this, guys, and let me know what you can see that got it a seven from the PSA scans. But yeah, just a nice card. Regardless of the grade, sometimes it doesn't matter. I only want the 10 in this one just because it's worth so much. Uh, and it'll be nice for the collection. But yeah, just a world's promo video, guys. And then obviously I threw in some extras to kind of build it up a bit. But yeah, I really do appreciate the support, guys. If you're new here, make sure to like, subscribe. Yeah, guys, we're going to be doing some more uh, returns. Like I, I think we got like three free to upload still so this is the third one and i got a fourth submission coming back fifth one's on uh, almost done as well and then i got like six seven left to, uh, more as well i uh, so many psa returns so you're gonna look about one a week maybe maybe a bit uh more per week as well so guys like subscribe if you like psa returns and i'll catch you in the next one peace